magic skills are much improved. Ask the dude who talks about himself in the third person. Oh, sweet. I leveled up. I wonder if he just sleeps out of habit. Okay. We. Isn't it always important when I come and talk to you? I am a Slytherin, and I'm also preparing for my owls. Aren't you the guy who wanted all the serious accusations against her? I guess he wanted the evidence. Well, it was a black quill, and I, I assume it's in his handwriting, and it was in that random room of his that a bunch of people have apparently gone in and explored. So yes, totally. That Olivia Green lady? So if you're in, say, Hufflepuff, do you have this conversation with Professor Sprout? Aren't they the ones who threatened to make her disappear? I don't know. Because she's not a student here? Did she ever teach here before? Okay, so we're going with that she might be a bad lady. Or at least has her own reasons. Wait, why are we meeting Marula of all people? Hey, Sickle Earth. Hey, Mrs. Norris. Nice to see you too. <laughs> yes. Yes, actually. <laughs> Why her, of all people? Why not Bill? You always train with Bill. I know, right? I don't know why she's asking that either. She's got a point there. Is that brave or stupid? Yeah.
If I don't manage to hit her with this exploding spell, it'll be over. If you do manage to hit her, it'll be over. Yeah, but, you know. You barely practiced with me. I barely wanted to be in your presence. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think we established that a child is unlikely to defeat a fully fledged and heavily trained adult witch. Why did you come to her then, Autumn, if you wanted supportive? You should have gone to Penny. Ugh. I don't think I put myself out there, right? <laughs> okay, let's duel, Marula. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way to face Jay. Have we dueled Andre? I have dueled you. I mean, granted, it was a side quest, but we did duel. We're gonna duel out here? Well,. What am I saying? We always do a lot here. Um. Oh, that's nice. He's not such a bad guy. Even if he does talk to himself, about himself rather, in the third person. Or are you painting Charlie fun? We've met. I mean, that, I mean, everybody has heard a lot of things about her. Are you? Are you going to come on life-threatening adventures with me? <laughs> right, till I beat him. No, till I beat him, Autumn. Gosh. Marula has tried to beat me about 80 to 5 times now. Oh, and she's failed each time? Shut up! You know, she's still lost to me. She has not beat me once yet. So I don't know how well this is going to help me. <laughs> we have had multiple rematches, Marula. There's the third person. Aren't you the guy who got lost in the library and missed the exam you were studying for. No! <laughs> okay, at least he's aware of it. Yeah. 
Ah, uh -huh, see? This is basically the um, strategy I use every time. I try to stun them and get their health down to where I can hit them with one of my... Oh, nice. With one of my really big spells and then knock their health out. Sometimes I try to... I try to do something like this that does damage over time, and that helps too, but mostly Well, I have nothing to learn from anyone here. Why don't we go duel Professor Flitwick? If we can learn from anyone, it's a professor who's a dueling champion. Yes. Part of it was her fault. Um. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> um. Yes. Wait, is he flirting? Is that what's going on here? And it isn't you. Sorry. It's Andre. He's right over there. duel in her classroom. Okay, I am ready with all the energy. The acromantial would probably eat that idiot. Okay. Why? Nothing. We're gonna do it in front of the entire class. Excellent. Woo! Autumn is angry? I thought she'd be more calm and determined. We need to talk. Oh, fine, but not because you told me to. Oh. Yes. Or lack thereof. With the duel? <laughs> well, that sounded ominous. Yeah. Thanks, Ben! I think I'm the best fighter out of all of you, so it won't be much help, but I appreciate it! Huh. Well, considering how names are so, uh, significant in this universe, she picks locks? Thanks, Marula. I was not to count on you. Got a point there. Right, didn't Tulip think Rake Pick was the one who cast the uh, sleepwalking curse in the first place? On her? <laughs> no! -uh. Uh, 
actually, she hasn't really told you much of anything, so I <laughs> don't know if she's telling the truth. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of surprised you haven't caught him, caught him yet. Or I'll kill you. Okay. Okay. Now, this is Gryffindor. But where's Slytherin? <laughs> this isn't gonna work, but at least I tried. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's a bit of a permanent... Puncher! Near in the stomach. Or kick her in the knee. If you hit from the side, the ligaments aren't meant to prevent movement that way, so you can dislocate her kneecap. Wait, that's it? That's that's it? That's it? What? She freaking blew up your wand, and then she's like, well, I'll just lend you one, and that's it? We're done now? We're done now! So, had I decided to walk away from Rake Pick, would she still have gone ahead and destroyed my wand just out of spite? <laughs> Or would I still have it? Disillusionment charm. I'm just so disillusioned with life. No, not that kind of disillusionment. Oh. They should really be teaching the students, like, the protection and disarming and hiding charms when they're in their first year. And then start teaching them the attacking charms after that. Yeah. Sure, I'll take energy. Food! Wouldn't they be required to keep literally everything hidden from Muggles? But I'm too disillusioned with this class, Professor. No, stop that! Textbooks.
I'm sorry. Uh oh. If only we had known this in third year. Okay, Professor, but my wand is broken. What? Yeah, it's broken. I can't cast it. What? How'd that happen? I don't know, Professor. It, 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 it's broken. This is a point at which it would have been... Well, that kind of looks like the tape was... This is the point at which it would have been great to know how to cast spells without a wand. Why is it a person reading a book? I just get so disillusioned when I read. Oh. That, that, okay. <laughs> I'm glad the wizards didn't decide that ginger root, because it can be used for magical things, belongs to them alone, and now it must be kept secret and hidden from all muggles everywhere. That would be a shame. Good to see you. I don't know, Madame Rosemary might kill me for messing with her recipe. Apparently she's already mad about me making the cups bigger. So we aren't gonna talk about ginger root? Ah. of the man drake gosh huh? I don't know. oh good still oh crap sorry uh, Penny does ginger really look like that No, it does not. For some reason, they took the roots out and just stuck them upside down in the soil. Must be your wand, Autumn. Oh.
Don't know what happened, but I'm happy about it. Probably unquestioning obedience. Yeah, so I would kill Ginger, even if I didn't plant it upside down for some reason. Just wash your hair afterwards. It's funny, he only showed up in one chapter, and we didn't even really, he didn't even do much, didn't say much, not much happened. Don't know why they named this whole chapter out of him, after him. Never have I wanted something so much, but I'm unlikely to be able to acquire it. So sad. I'm a bit afraid to see what this looks like. Uh, okay. Well, okay then. Let's never do that again.